In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at using the model space that you have available in an Inventor drawing. The idea is that you can create any 3D model inside of Inventor, create a DWG file, and you can actually right click on any view and insert that view into model space. What this will allow you to do is you can now reference this view inside of AutoCAD. So perhaps you have a plant layout or something like that that you want to see inside of the AutoCAD drawing. You can now physically export any view of your drawing into this model space. Um, you can then go into AutoCAD and you can attach a DWG by XREF and find this drawing. And you'll see that when I bring this in, it actually brings in the view that is in my model space. Now what's significant about this is obviously you can um, dimension the drawing, add notes, etc. and reference this information. But what's more important than that is if we go back now into our inventor model and we physically make changes, so perhaps we reduce it from having six spokes down to having four. Okay, obviously our model will update. And when we go back into our drawing and update our drawing, we can then export that back out into our uh, AutoCAD drawing. So have a look, we've got four spokes over here. Now we're just going to save this drawing. And when we shoot back into AutoCAD, and we update our XREF, you'll see we now have four spokes shown over there. Very powerful tool. Thank you for having a look.